here on this uh, right screen we see the performance from the base station. We see four different uh, graphs. The top left graph is showing how many MIMO streams are running uh, at this time. So we can have up to eight streams at the same time. We also see different colors for the amount of carriers that we're running. Carrier 1 is red, carrier 2 is blue, and carrier 3 is orange. So we're running aggregated 3 times 20 megahertz, which means 60 megahertz of bandwidth with this LT Advanced uh, system, and an up to 8 times 8 MIMO. On the right top graph, you can see the total aggregated speed, which is also produced on the left bottom in 910, 970, 950 megabits, as you can see. That's the red line that you can follow on the right top. And then you see per carrier roughly what we have for bit rates. And there are three colors lying on top of each other and they're around 300 megabits each. So if you aggregate those three together, you get about 900 megabits per second. Point of the screen, fit. On the base station side, so we connect via laptop as well over the 3G network towards the base station and then we see some performance graphs on the base station side as well. So we can follow the terminal on this side and we can follow the base station on that side. And describe the base station performance right now. Um, and you're seeing 64 oh, okay. on the lower number means more towards 60 qualm and QPSK. Okay. So here what we can see is for all the three different carriers, we see the coding rate that we're using. Um, so the higher the number, the higher the coding that we're using, so the higher the bit rate that we can get. The higher the number, the more you're running into 64 QAM modulation, for instance, instead of 16 QAM or QPSK modulation. So here we're running quite high numbers, it's up to 27 in this case, that we're running from a coding rate perspective.